Hello and welcome to anubavtrainings.com. In this video series, we are discussing about how to automate your Fury application using automated regression testing. In the past session, we have talked about how to set up your development environment and automate an end-to-end -end master detail Fury application, including the traceability and also browser testing. When you do the browser testing, you wanted to make sure that you want to sometime run on the Chrome browser or sometime in another browser. Now, in an effective way of handling this browser-based test, you would want to pass the browser as an input parameter, and based on that, you wanted to do the testing. So the good practice is to implement a factory design pattern, wherein you can return the instance of the correct web driver depending on the parameter passed to the factory method. So let's go ahead and implement a factory class just like a normal factory, a factory is something what produces different types of products. Similarly here, an object factory produces different type of objects. So I'll switch back to our initializer, initializer class, which is creating an instance of web driver. And I'm going to move this code out of here and move it inside a factory class. So let's create a factory class here. So let's go ahead and name it as browser factory. And we're going to return a method out, similar to this one. But this returns an instance of web driver. And I can say, get browser instance. And I can also input parameter as browser name. And we can then write a if condition. If browser name is expected to be Firefox, we're going to return a Firefox instance, else we're going to return another one. So let's create an instance here, web driver, and set it to null for now. And we can just return this out. And we slowly move our code out of here from this class to here as well as the Chrome driver code from here to here. And now we are just going to set up these correctly. Of course, this create Firefox profile method is also needs to be picked up from here. And just cut from here and bring it on to this class. Save everything. Okay, import these libraries, dependencies as part of the class correctly so that objects are created properly. We can save it and now we have our factory class ready. It's a browser factory which produces different types of browser instances. Now I can go back to initializer and over here in the initializer, I am going to Rather than calling these individual browsers, we're going to pass here browser factory, get me a browser instance, and we can configure this completely. So tomorrow, if you wanted to test in Chrome browser, you can just pass Chrome, or you want to test in Firefox, you can pass Firefox. So I pass Chrome, save this, and this will produce me a driver object. Just capture this like this, and we are ready. So the get browser instance method is producing different types of browser objects depending on your need. Yeah, that's the code. So this is the implementation of factory class. Okay, just put double quote here as a string. Uh, yeah, and we can just test it now. Go back to the app. Let's go ahead. We just have to cross check if it is launching the browser or not. As long as it launches the Chrome browser, we are good to go. And then we can quickly go back and change the parameter to Firefox. So just a one single parameter change, and this should accordingly behave. So now it did not launch the Chrome one. It launched the, the Firefox. We, we have to go back and check the code. So if it is Firefox, oh, I have missed the code, actually. Uh, oppositely, I've coded, actually. So this one goes below, 
and this goes for Firefox. Yeah, sorry. Come back again. Let's give it a try. Run it with the Chrome one, Chrome option I want to choose. And now it should launch a Chrome browser instance. Voila. You can see it has launched the Chrome browser instance. You can make out from the top. You can see this. It's a Google Chrome options. Yeah. So this is Google Chrome. It has launched. And now if I go back and relaunch it with Firefox setting, it should launch Firefox browser. Just save this and come back and again launch. And this time it should give me an instance of Firefox accordingly. So that's how you can do a more stable and more reusable code by just changing one parameter and loading the corresponding browser. You can see now it has launched the Firefox browser for us to load the application under a test. Fantastic. So that was our initial requirement. So with that, it's a wrap on today's session. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe this video with your colleagues and your testing teams so that you can save millions of dollars investing in third party testing tools. You can build your own testing tools going forward with this approach and re reuse the components which are freely available in the market. Thank you so much once again and I will see you in the next session.